I wanted to wake with you on the shore, listening to the blue glass mold our bodies forever fragmented and swimming towards the light. Awesome, thank you. I, I don't know that we've ever had anyone play a saw at IWC in all, in all the years. We've had people bring a chainsaw. <laughs> Maybe I dreamt that. I don't know. IWC started uh, when I was teaching at uh, Center for Arts and Technology. That assignment sparked a recital that I invited the students to do, and then um, took it into the town and it became IWC. Raw did everything himself. Uh, he would take on five or six events a month at some points, um, and it was just sort of a random um, organization that that uh, just kind of popped up places and provided this this open mic space to the community. When I met Rawl, it became clear that there was this underground current of really vibrant and incredible artists who were making work that was changing people's lives. I wanted a place where people felt safe and that they could express themselves artistically without feeling that they'd be judged by anyone, including themselves. I'm not gonna lie and say it was easy, because it's like a baby, you know, I birthed this thing. But it was easy in the sense of who I was handing it to. Uh, when, when Aaron came on about five years ago, uh, she, she did, did a lot of work to legitimize what IWC is. I kind of approached him and said, hey, can I help? What can I do to help? Can I help? Can I? Are you going to help? You're going to help me run this thing. <laughs> I can't just put some chairs up, you know. Um, and and that was not really an option. It was kind of this ushering in of if you want it, it's here, but you have to really commit because this is something that needs people to commit to it. We started taking on bigger events under the banner of Kelowna Poetry Slam, and we added this sort of slam competition element to, to the type of programming that IWC has provided. But, but the one mainstay throughout all of IWC's history has been the open mic. just attending the events and enjoying it and then um, got to know Aaron and Cole better and then uh, started becoming more involved and that's kind of where I'm at right now. Tonight is uh, the IWC Public Reading Series uh, at Cool Arts Community Art Night um, and Cool Arts is an organization who works with artists with developmental disabilities. Uh, I know people love IWC for their open mics so they always try to offer an open mic uh, whenever they can so people can also come and sign up to read their own stuff. We've been fortunate to have the Inspired Word Cafe folks join us for the second half and continue to draw while someone talks. In this case, it happens to be poetry, which is very exciting. I realize that I will need to teach my daughter how to balance all her fingers on her thumb, a bird beak hand before the push. Others wither, too weak to withstand the heat, and with a burnt tongue, you taste the bitters, but you lose the sweet. Moments pushing time forward and back, forward and back. Smell can start the track. In time, I was there. Relapse, retrigger, reheat. I'm there and then not. Well, one day, uh, I was reciting poetry at Brain Trust. It's a place for people with brain injuries to hang out and cope. And uh, so she, uh, told, she told me about a, the open mic night at the Center of the Arts. And uh, I was nervous, but I did it anyways. And ever since then, it's been a healthy thing for me. So it's really, really been a godsend. More than you know, thank you. Thank you for your smile. Thank you for just saying hello. Thank you for your trust and the little hugs. They mean more than you know. No matter who you are walking through the door, they, they make a place for you. And that, you know, we make sure that we're reaching out to all these different people and that we're trying to be, make sure that everybody knows about it, that we provide as in much in terms of like physical access. We try and make sure that uh, they're all in wheelchair accessible spaces. Oh, it's been amazing. I, I feel it every time I go up there and recite people, just the response I get is just uplifting. And it's just, 
amazing. to create a, an open space for people. We, um, we encourage people to, uh, to participate. I knew that there were ways that we could get them engaged that were really simple. And people love games. And so really the slam is just a big game. Seeing something live and, and experiencing a poem live is, is different than reading it on a page or, or watching it on Instagram. If, if for no other reason than you're, you're in a room with other people. When the puppet is an artist, name his voice an inconvenience. Metaphors garner more glamour when they are silent, and a black boy is a strong metaphor. The doorway is the understanding. I am not what is stolen, but what lingers. In class, they are there, but me, I am alone. And remember how important every day, every breath, Every orange and every kiss truly is. Thank you. I think what's exciting about IWC is that it's uh, a collaboration between the performer and the audience in a, in a way that is pretty uncommon, where it's the vulnerability of the performer is so strongly upheld by the audience and actively upheld by the audience that it becomes unclear whether it's just the performer performing or the audience, like what is the real performance? Let me cry and let me pin down this feeling. Let me remember when we'd wrestle by the sofa and take turns picking crime shows on TV. Let this grief half Nelson me. Thanks. To get up there and to share and to, to have the courage to do that and to support those people as they do that. I think that's a big part of the draw is the, is the, the kind of support and, and atmosphere that people feel when they come to the events and that makes them come back. And you can see it, you can see it happen to people. Cole and I talk about it after events, people will come and it'll be their first time and, and they leave with a little bit of this look, like a, a glow, like something has happened to them. I would say the best thing about IWC is it's a really inclusive community. They're really great events to go to. You really feel welcome there. You feel like people are having fun there. We're, we're a collective. We're come, we came together to make this happen, and it's great. My greatest joy still today is watching a new poet or a new performer show up, take the mic, nervous as heck, and know that the village has got them. Go ahead and fall. We're here.